fire. Look, like orbits or for the, for the both of us. If when someone asks you if you've seen the Lord of the Rings movies, don't say no. But I've played the games. I think they'll absolutely ritually like just you. Like well, don't say that. Yeah, and I sleep five hours a day to beat the EP allegations, but I'm never gonna beat them. So you know, you did this at the end of 2023, and you always raised a whooping. And get ready to play the clapping soundboard here. One thousand and seventy-five dollars. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> uh, for <laughs> the uh, for the Alzheimer's Foundation. <laughs> Alright lads, welcome back to Midweek MC, the part of the podcast where I sit down with the amazing co-host AJX, who sadly isn't here with us this week. Uh, that's my fault. For the first time ever, AJX isn't showing up to a Midweek MC because of... Actually, I guess technically there's one week where it was the guest fault. Uh, <laughs> but this week is mine. Uh, yesterday when we were meant to record, which is normally on a Wednesday, my brain just wasn't fully there. I was, I was tired. I was just... And my brain wasn't running on 100% and I kind of was beating myself up over a little bit because I had to, had to postpone. However, it's okay because the guest were joined with today is an amazing content creator genuinely i'd like to say we're pretty good friends you can you can answer that when you start talking i am joined with aragon hello yeah thank you so much for that wonderful introduction what was your name again oh ow ah, i'm kidding i'm kidding orbits ow. it's great being here man i oh <laughs> you have no idea how incredibly excited i am to be here i listen to podcasts all the time uh my favorite being 100 the, the opera gx guy <laughs> wonderful wonderful interview i i love that one so so much but it's an it's an honor being here man thank you so much for inviting me no worries uh we we actually discussed you coming on the podcast here in one shot which is so funny uh we were, we were talking and it's, it's where i found out that you're actually a podcast listener which was a big surprise to me i guess it's i was telling say jx when i invited you on or when i was planning to invite you on i said it feels so different when like i, I mean are we friends aragon yeah we're friends i'd like to Course say orbits we've we've gone through hell and back we were in the one shot royale event together i mean that bonds and we cross that, that creates a bond. <laughs> and cr and cross teamed absolutely you know we, lots uh, of things happened there so you know we're, we're that it just feels a lot different when like a friend turns around and goes oh yeah like i listen to your podcast i'm like what well and i want you on as a guest as well like this is so cool so we're gonna cook today it's gonna be an amazing podcast Got a lot to talk about and i'm genuinely very excited so thank you thank you so much e, thank you so much for having me here man i'm so, <laughs> it's so surreal being on this podcast honestly I, I would like to apologize for something though before we kick start here oh god okay. yesterday i cancelled last minute you left work early to come on the podcast <laughs> so you did all that traveling you get home and the podcast it went no <laughs> and we're Look, recording orbits. it the next day when you're off so <laughs> apologies <laughs> no, for that it is completely fine orbits if there's anything that uh i value very highly it's mental health and we all have our off days and we all have things going on so you never ever have to apologize for that all right i fully get it i fully understand and i'm just glad we can still get this podcast happening because uh, ah! You know, I'm gonna cook. We're gonna cook today. We're gonna cook. What are we gonna cook, Orbits? Uh, hmm, I was gonna think of it. I, I, you know what? For the first time ever, I don't have a joke on the spot. I'm sorry. Oof. I'm sorry. I'm letting you down already. Right. Sorry, Aragon. No, it's it. Look, it, I do. I have to say, the one thing I do find very sad is that you know, Ajax isn't here. He said he can make it, but secretly it was just you know, he was a bit nervous. You know, it's been a while <laughs> since I've spoken to Ajax. Um, about I think two years at this point when we were together in a, in an event, it was wonderful. Uh, but I missed the guy. I, I hope. I hope. Ajax as well. I hope so. You can talk to him whenever you want. Just add him as a friend and send some DMs, you know? Because that's how you two 100%. met, right? You met on the, uh, what event was it? Do you remember? The One Hard Heroes made by my wonderful friend Wade, uh, which is a really cool event that is actually coming back sometime. I don't know exactly when, Ooh. but uh, it's a very innovative uh, Minecraft event. And I really like that, Orbit. I like events that are a lot more focused on being original and having like a, a special gimmick. I don't know. I, th I think that it's, like it's, one it's shot very important well. that we, yeah, exactly. Stuff like One Shot or One Hard Heroes. Uh, it's important that we keep being innovative with our game play and, and we keep refreshing what makes minecraft popping and buzzing you know exactly i can't believe you guys go that because I, I remember when like wade got into mcc mcc rising 2 sorry yeah i just like oh me and wade go so back then it, it, it's kind of shocking to me because obviously like, earlier this month was my one year anniversary in this community it's just crazy to think of how long you guys have been in this community compared to me and like, i'm thinking oh i've talked to you guys so much it feels like we've been friends for years especially ajx we co-host the bloody podcast together but <laughs> it's it's this it's crazy to think that you guys met two years ago and just yeah yeah no wade and i go way back it might have been three years at this i think it's three years yeah we've known each other for three years i i was actually just starting out with twitch and i was getting to know the platform because i'd never been on it before uh, i'm sure that we'll get into that later but either way i um i used to like scroll through twitch streamers just to meet new people and, and and check out their content and see if i could learn from them and i popped by wade stream and i was like oh my god these are super cool streams i, I love this and awesome so one day i streamed and i rated him and then i sent him a message like hey hope you had a great stream and ever since that we just we kept talking and we became really good friends we've done like plenty of projects now together and uh, uh yeah we're still very close it's awesome oh aragon more on you here uh, i always like to give the intro for you to 
let us know who you are. Obviously, I've been introduced you with so many nice, nice names. Oh. Uh, but this is the floor for you to tell us who you are, what you do, fun fact, if you must, anything along those lines. Oh, God, a fun fact. Uh, yeah, well, all right. Um, hi, my name is Aragon. I am a uh, Dutch-English-speaking content creator who primarily focuses on making uh, uh, story-related content. I like to write stories and act them out with fellow uh, like uh, community members or streamers or whatever the, the, the whole scenario is. Uh, I also do uh, this series where I try to beat Minecraft in really weird ways. So I did a Minecraft, but it's all in bottle series. I did Minecraft, but there's just the ocean. I did uh, Minecraft Lucky Block. And right now I'm doing Minecraft, but you have to pay for every chunk that you get. And then I try to beat the game and it's been really, really fun. And uh, on top of that, I'm also known for my hugs and my really, really wholesome community that's all about love, respect and acceptance. What? That's actually a Twitter question, I believe. Oh, let me, let me, let me fact check myself. It's very unprofessional for me not to have Twitter questions up. I'm so sorry. Uh, Aragon, here we go. Yeah, there was, there was a question from Grilled Water. How mm. did you come up with your signature phase, uh, phrase, sorry, you're loved, respected and accepted? Wow, what a question. Well, uh, in order to answer that, I'm, okay, so it all started when I was just but a wee little lad in high school. <laughs> um, basically, I, I wasn't really, I think for a lot of people who uh, maybe relate to this, I wasn't really a popular kid in high school. I never really fit in. I did theater as a guy, uh, which I come from a very conservative place. It wasn't really seen as okay. It was seen as like weird and that kind of stuff. And I never really felt loved, respected or accepted uh, for years on end. And then uh, to get to like where I started streaming, basically, I was looking for a creative outlet and I found this platform Twitch and I started getting back into gaming so I was like oh, you know what I'll give it a shot I click go live for the first time I absolutely fell in love with the entire concept of live streaming and content creation and 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 building these stories and stuff and on top of that I realized that I had the possibility to do something something very special and to to harbor a community and a, a place for people who just like me at that age didn't feel love respected or accepted for who they were so um it sort of stems from that I, I want to be able to provide a, a place a spot where people can feel like they're loved respected and accept who they are and for the last three years i've been doing that and, and the community has been growing and growing and growing and and now we're at this incredible place where we can provide a safe haven with like a bunch of really cool people and um yeah i don't know i i, I wish i had a place like that when i was um a bit younger i uh, i've talked about this on the podcast i can't remember which ones at this point they're all like not merging i've just done so many this is the 94th podcast i'm recording it's a 90 you've episode. made like 743 right you've made a bunch <laughs> one day who knows uh, <laughs> but this is the 94th recording however it's going to be the 95 edition because i record inside mc before i record midweek mc but then it comes after it's confusing who gets uh, i think it might have been on the mental health podcast i don't know if you got a chance to listen to that aragon not yet no fortunately uh that on that i talked about how i think i did anyway and we're just going to go with it for the sake of it i talked about how i got really badly bullied in secondary school um in primary school i was such like a confident outgoing kid and then when, when i once i got into secondary school just i got filled with anxiety i got filled with uh, you know nerves everything and i got bullied really bad there's just so many like different things that happened and uh so i started on my youtube channel when i left school the indians and orbits however a few kids from secondary school who were kind of meant to be my friends kind of weren't uh, found out about the channel no. And uh, but yeah, I think most of them have forgotten about it now. I can I can look back and now and I can look at where our lives are and you know one of them the, the guys found my channel. And please don't take this in any way other than it being just a comparison here because uh, it isn't bad that they do this job. I think they're a manager in Boots, which is amazing. Currently they're on more money than I am. So I, I no disrespect. I work in customer service. It's horrible. Fair play. Uh, but like none of them would like look now and look at who I've been getting on the podcast and like even this. Like I'm sitting down and talking to you. And to me that's such a big achievement. I think it's so cool to talk to and that isn't me boosting your ego i promise i genuinely do make me blush <laughs> but like it's just crazy to look at now like i was the kid who got bullied and you also the kid who you know weren't, wasn't very popular and now we're sitting down here today now we're successful streamers i mean we have a pinned message in our chat from from the 14th of march this year we'll both make it somewhere together right eh? and that is pinned ready hey, man ready look for at us happens <laughs> look at us orbit oh beautiful but yeah. yeah no i people can grow from, from various amounts to to little amounts and, and from various amount uh, places to to where they are now, and I I think that's that's something that we should all just try to achieve, right? Like do what makes us happy, try to to grow as a person, and I'm I'm glad that I'm in the place where I am now, and I've got so many like aspirations and and things that I want to do, and and seeing you grow with the podcast and and grow like a a goddamn I have no idea something that grows very fast. Like you you've been doing so well, and it's it's inspiring seeing you work so so hard to make this podcast what it is, and so many people see that. So like hats off, man. Thank you. Look at us uplift each other where uh what's, what's the phrase again we are we are loving respecting and accepting each other look at that eh? hey 
you nailed it. You could take my job any day. That's that's crazy. <laughs> and you can take my job. Who knows? You might co-host a podcast in the future. I mean, are you open to? I'm always open to do that, Orbits. Uh, with pleasure. Let's go. All right. Well, this has been the end of Vince. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Thank you so much for watching. Or listening, I guess. Weird. <laughs> I've never been on a podcast where this is crazy. It's different as well. But I, I think that's what that's what I think is so cool about podcasts as well. Is like, it's Minecraft characters. It's something different, something new. It's not us. And you, you know, that's my pitch. You can you can sit and you can waffle to me. You could have messy hair. You could be in your... I'm, I'm always in my pajamas with messy hair. And it's from the comfort of our own homes. You know, eh? Anyways. Looks like you got it all together. Well, kind of. <laughs> Aragon. Said your name a few times now. Full name, Aragon Teddy. Got Where that, right. does your name come from? What's, what's the deal with that? Oh, that's a good question. And actually, my uh, name is... Not a lot of people expect me to have a name that is with so much meaning, I guess. They're all like, oh, you probably heard that at Lord of the Rings. Still haven't seen that movie. I, I get absolutely blasted into space every time I, I say it. I'm I so sorry. Either. I haven't watched I, I played the oh. games. I played like one or two of the games back on PlayStation <laughs> 2. And they were fire. Uh, by look, a, look, Orbits, or, for, for the both of us. If, when someone asks you if you've seen the Lord of the Rings movies, don't say no, but I've played the games. I think they'll absolutely ritually like just murder you. Like, well, don't say that. Well, I think you'll piss off a lot I've of people. I said it. So, you know, if you're going to come well, from nice my head, knowing you. it's not my fault. Did the lords ever get the rings? That's all we have to answer, right? <laughs> anyway, that is a good question. Yeah, <laughs> Aragon name. You, yeah. Explain oh right. So now. yeah. Sorry. Um. Sorry. Basically, the name Aragon stems from. Uh, so like, I have a bit of a a. How do you say this? Wait. Uh, let me just think. So my my grandpa is actually from Uruguay, and oh, at a certain moment, he actually moved to Netherlands and as an immigrant and to work in the Netherlands and to actually uh, build up a, a beautiful life. And um, the boat that he came on was called the Aragon. And when I grew up, I heard that story. And that name always stuck with me for so long. And and when I got a certain age and I needed an online name, my first online name was actually Night Mustache. I really wanted a mustache. I, I still want one. Uh, I'll grow one one day. Whenever I'm going to be on this podcast again, maybe in a few years, I'll bet your ass I have a mustache. All right. I'll have a beautiful, frumptious beard with many hairs. Either way, um, so my second name was actually Aragon. Uh, and I always just stuck with it. I, I thought it was a, a beautiful name. I thought the name from the boat was really awesome. And I don't know, it's, it has a nice thought to it. You know, it. it me where I am now. Do you want me to send you a picture of the beard I currently have? I've just taken a picture of my beard. Send a beard it? pic, please, King. Yes. <laughs> I will not be showing this on the podcast because it's not the most flattering photo. Oh, I think man. You, you can also see like part of my nostrils. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, you know, you can see my full nostrils. Look at that. The you know, when I woke up today, I did, I did not anticipate seeing your nostrils, but now that I've seen them, I, I feel like a happier man. Thank you so much for that, Orbit. Play, play a soundboard to celebrate, please. Okay, wait. Let's get a Kalen in. <laughs> No there way, Kalen on inside on midweek MC. You would have fought. What? Well, Kalen, he did it. He yes. made it. Yes. <laughs> uh, the Inside MC podcast. Love the soundboards. Sorry, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll stop touching it now. I'm, I'm a bit addicted to my soundboard ever since I got it. It's fine. It's wonderful. I, uh, I have a bit of a basic question here. And it's still, it's still talking yes. about your name. Well, I'll ask more complex ones. So I want to get this one, one out of the way. <laughs> and, it, it, and it's gonna be, it's gonna sound like a ha ha silly. He's being goofy question, but it's actually part serious. Do you watch much telly? Ha ha, that's so silly, Orbit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm nervous for this interview. Um, Do I watch much telly? So I don't, when I started I don't Twitch, watch TV I, at all. Yeah, so when I started out on Twitch, I knew I needed a brand and I knew I needed to come up with like whatever I wanted to do that actually made me happy to uh, content about. And I always really, really loved uh, TV shows. So like think Game of Thrones, think goddamn any other show that I cannot think of at the moment. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, no, it, it sort of came to me naturally that I've always wanted wanted to create shows on my own and I sort of made like a whole TV brand around my channel and then uh, my first name was actually on Twitch was It's Just Aragon but I always didn't really like that name because first of all the It's Just is quite generic and I'm so sorry if your name contains It's Just like I'm not saying it's a bad name it's just for myself I always try to connect my name and my brand to something positive to you know love respect and acceptance and uh, It's Just Aragon can be seen as oh it's just him and I wanted to show like no you can be proud of yourself you can be happy with yourself so uh, I thought really long about that name. Actually, it took me about eight months to come up with a telly. I know, very pathetic. But either way, uh, I came up with it. I was like, hell yeah, this is exactly what I want to do. It's it's catchy. It's fun. And and well, Aragon Telly was born. You also have a little like a PNG. Was it PNG? In a second, what is it? What is it? Do you have? You have something to do with a telly? 
So I have a little buddy, a little mascot, Paul Telly, and he's a, stream, a really right? yes. So he's yeah. a, a really small TV head. He's like a, a the size. He, he get he, I think his height is to my knee. I believe they they have a, a canon height, but I don't remember either way. Uh, he's Telly, and he thanks every follow sub and all that kind of stuff. He's kind of like the the staple of my community, like the the cute wholesome little fella. I uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, and I don't know when I'll do it. One day, Aragon, and if you don't already have one, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a, a, an Aragon Telly plus you made like. Of, the, of your little TV <laughs> mascot. I'm going to yes, get one made I, just for you. Oh, bro, I, I would love to have a Telly plushie uh, being made, but like I, I'm working on a merch line right now, which should be coming out in the next few months. But um, I've looked into selling plushies, but you need to sell a crap ton of those in order to make some profit. Yeah, they got to be warranted. Deadly. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a whole process. So, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll you know, we'll save that for next time uh, uh, I'm on the Inside MC pod. You know, I, can... I think you'll be on a bit sooner than that, in all honesty. And uh, you got some big things planned. We, we had a nice voice call the other day, and uh, we, we yeah, talked about all the cool stuff things. you have planned and it is really really exciting you're uh, you're doing a lot of noteworthy stuff right now so i am mean, i'm excited i'm excited for everyone to see it for you kind of thing i'm sorry i'm excited for everyone to see it there we go you're make, you're really making me blush dude thank you so much for all the compliments <laughs> oh i mean you, you know I think, I think i think you're decent so you know i'll bring you back down to level you're on all right decent. you're all right I guess. all right i'll put that in my twitter bio i'll be the all right guy <laughs> all right aragon <gasps> all right oh oh my god it's all right aragon <gasps> i'm changing my name again New name. Get rid of the telly. Who cares about that anyways? Aragon TV. Why, why, yeah, why not Aragon TV? But why, like, why telly? Like, and you could have been Aragon Film. You could have been Aragon Producer. Aragon TV. No, you said it was that, that ain't really catchy, is it? True. Aragon produce aragon no, production not, it's, yeah eh. oh, no, aragon, I mean, aragon, aragon telly blows you away you're like whoa i'm gonna remember that name for the rest of my life you i want to subscribe to that aragon, guy right? Sorry? Like, my, my name's like insane orbits but i go born by orbits i don't like the insane i've always I'm, called you insane no you I, haven't <laughs> all right that's true yeah no i still go by aragon or era as most people call me i mean so i i mean as you probably know by just knowing me obviously like with your i invite you to minecraft mayhem and with the podcast and stuff like that back to like the plushy talk here everything i do i have to warrant doing it like everything I've done is under like a okay I can warrant that choice I can warrant that choice but like, with the plushy thing like I'd, I'd love to do merch and stuff like that with Inside MC but I can't mm -hmm. warrant it I physically cannot warrant myself doing it not yet not yet not yet yeah I can't warrant myself just yet and that's exactly. that's the thing like I've always I've always done everything on like a warranted basis you know no but I, I mean like look Inside MC is growing as a a goddamn train I'll just say train trains don't grow I don't I don't really know uh but anyway like the people that are listening right now so hello uh listener I hope you're enjoying our voices like they're the, the people that make this possible right and that help will help you grow this this channel and you're making such cool quality things like don't worry about that like that that, that will come just focus on like the, the cool things you're doing now you know i know i know i'm just saying uh you're going to twitchcon this year right hell yeah i am oh i'm so excited about it dude because you're a twitch streamer to that. i am actually yeah <laughs> uh, we're meeting in person i can't wait for the first time right the first time no 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 it's for the second time but that's okay <laughs> orbits i remember i will always remember i remember I think it was was it Amsterdam or Paris? That's Paris. That you, I, the Paris was Paris, the first right. one I ever went to. So you, yeah. I will always remember. Oh wait, which one was it? <laughs> like, there, there's been many which cons. Exactly two that I went to. So I, I, I don't know. But yeah, no, we, we've met before. Orbits, uh, definitely have. But you just, you just didn't really see me. I don't remember. I don't. I didn't know who you was at the time, so I don't remember it. That's cool. That's what cool. is the story, please? I want to hear it from your perspective before I share my one. Oh well, so um, I was with Nuke. Nuke is a very good friend of mine. Um, uh, shout out to my work wife. <laughs> and we were just chilling, and at one point. I believe you guys uh, like, like you, you found Nuke or something. I don't know. Where, yes, I, don't I know found Nuke outside the uh, Rise SMP panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was standing next to him, and you were like, "Hey, oh my god!" And you, you guys did the whole awkward thing that everyone does when they first meet each other in real life, like the "Oh, uh, how are you? What do you think of the convention?" Haha, <laughs> you know. And then you get to like the the wholesome thing, like dun, 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 and you take like a picture, that kind of stuff. And I was like, "Hey!" You just looked at me, and you were like, uh, uh, hi, and then you just continue with Nuke, which is fine. It's okay. I. It's not like I, you know. Can't sleep because of it, but it, it, it's fine. It's all right, Orbits, because we'll make it up this year. We'll we'll bro hug it out. You know the first thing I'm doing once I see you is I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up to you, be like, yo, I'm Orbit. I mean, you know what I look like, but I'm still gonna say, yo, Aragon, and you're gonna go, yo, I'm gonna go, it's me, Orbits. You're gonna go, yo, and I'm just gonna give you a big hug. That's beautiful. And then I'm gonna you, walk off. Oh wow, you've really thought this through, haven't you? <laughs> no, no, there'll be there'll be more, there'll be more. Uh, yeah, I am actually like I'm I'm a lot more excited for this year. I think just a lot more people I know are going. I I said this I've said this a few times about like the lot because I talk about TwitchCon a lot. And there's a lot. 
of things that come back up on the podcast, but it's fine because I'm talking to different people about it, so it's okay. This TwitchCon, like, I'm more in the community. Like last year, obviously, I met Nuke, but I was just a chat to Nuke. I think had Nukeri come on the podcast at that point? I don't I think no they had. Hold on, let me, let me, let me, let me have a look here. Inside MC Nukeri. See, it's that easy to find a podcast. All you have to do is search up that. If you want to find this one, search up Inside MC Aragon. You should really do that. Nukeri's podcast came out on the 30th of June of 2023. Uh, that would have been 13th. 30th, 30th of June, 2023. I think that would have been. I don't know. Wait, so that means we would have recorded on the 19th of June. Which con? My mom's switch con. Yeah, but did you, I didn't do it live, no? Uh, let me see. Which TwitchCon 2023? I believe the 8th of July. Was TwitchCon 2023. So yeah, that means it was before. Before. Uh, okay then. So we talked on the podcast, but you know, I hadn't really, I didn't really know him. Same with Jack, I went up to said hi to Jack, I gave Peagles a handshake and I met a few other creators and I met like people like Space Brownies and stuff and it was super, super cool. But this time I'm obviously a lot more in and like, even us, like hopefully we get to hang out at one point. Uh, you know, oh, yeah. I, I know you've got some, you've got some fun plans. I'll let, I'll let you tell the listeners that yourself about like oh. with, with community and stuff all ah, right yeah no we talked about this before. um so yeah basically every year of twitchcon i've i've had the pleasure of meeting some of my community members which has been absolutely incredible but this year for the first time there's like a really large group of community members coming so i'm super super nervous but also very excited to actually have my first big community meetup where we're all gonna probably eat chicken nuggets or we're gonna do I'm something gonna fun at the convention i'm, uh, I'm gonna have like a an exclusive uh merch item that i'll just give away to them because it's like a little thank you you know and it'll be it will be really really cool to finally meet so many of these people in person you know because you, you know you've seen them their names online and you've talked to them on discord or something like that but to actually see them face to face and 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 see the people that you make content for is is special you know it's just very special can uh can i get the exclusive item for service yeah oh 100 percent. you're gonna save it for me i'm gonna wait if you also right. go to twitch come right damn and you're listening to this podcast right now tweet the words and specifically this so you, you put a full stop and then you tag aragon telly and then you put smelly whoa hey no, 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 no. We're discussing this right now. No, I'm not smelly. I shower every day, Orbits. Even if it's not good for you, like people have different opinions about that. I shower every day to beat the freaking allegations of me being smelly, man. Yeah, and I sleep five hours a day to beat the EP allegations, but I'm never going to beat them. So, you know. <sighs> <laughs> that was, I'm never saying that again. Oh, no. Oh, why have I just I said think that I felt my soundboard thing. Thank you. Oh, no. Is that, wait, is that, is that actually going to be it? EP Orbits. <laughs> want me to say it, like, do you want me to reset it specifically? So you have a great soundboard here. But do you want to yes. use, are you just going to use that one of me saying, I, you know, I think the sentence is actually better because it's natural. <laughs> it's not fake. All right. All right. <laughs> I, uh, but I am. I'm really looking forward to SwitchCon. Uh, you live like obviously you live in the Netherlands, which is cool. Yeah. Did you Did you know that <laughs> you live in the? <laughs> Sorry. I, I had a hunch. Yeah. Uh, so you're staying at home, aren't you, to go to uh to and then you're just gonna are you how you how you get into, into SwitchCon? Are you are you getting a train? Is some is someone driving? What's the deal with that? Uh, so we're actually gonna take the plane because we thought it'd be funny. No, I'm uh I'm so for the first time ever I'm actually <laughs> no I'm I'm not being real. <laughs> I'm um I'm actually staying at home for the first time because like even in Amsterdam I booked a hotel, but Rotterdam is so close to my home uh that i actually can stay at home and well i'm i'm still a full-time student you know I, I i don't have a lot of um funds so actually it's so much nicer just staying at home i've invited a bunch of my creator friends we're just gonna chill at my place and then go to twitchcon and have a great time over there and then hopefully we're gonna drive over there if i get my driver's license and then we're gonna have a great time so yeah it's it's really nice that it's so freaking close to my house like it could have been better it couldn't have could not have been better oh so how long like if this doesn't dox you here if it does then you don't have to answer the question how long is it gonna it take definitely you to get will. in oh <laughs> i'm not yeah uh, Netherlands is a small country. I don't want to. Okay, I don't no, really okay. Say I'm keeping that in, but we won't answer it. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool, cool. No, no, it's all good. That's all good. I just want to make sure that you know. Yeah, yeah no, we won't. We're not answering some question. mystery about me, you know. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it, it builds like the the Aragon law, the like the exactly. mysterious like law. Oh, who's that guy over there? Where's he come from? Kind of kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's certainly going to be fun. I am really looking forward to it, meeting up with everyone. And hopefully we get to hang out for a bit. I'm not planning it, obviously. Uh, I'm staying in. I'll just, I'll tell you now. Why. I'm not going to say what hotel I'm staying because I don't want people. Because you know what? I'm I'm a famous podcast host now, right? So everyone's going to be standing outside my hotel like, yo, Orbit, please come say hi. Uh, I'm staying in Rotterdam from the 28th of June to the 2nd of July. So I'll get there on the 28th. Uh, I might have done something a little bit silly, Aragon, to save some money. And it's it it might be worth it. I'm, you know, I'm going oh with God, someone and this was more their decision and it was mine. So I'm actually blaming them. So you know who you are you if you're someone? listening to this podcast. Uh, so I am going on the Friday, 28th of June. Friday? Friday, right? Mm -hmm. But the Eurostar and to get to the Eurostar with an Uber is a lot cheaper if you do it at 6 a.m. in the morning rather than 12 o'clock in the afternoon, right? And it's also a three hour journey there. So what we're doing is they're going to stay at my house and chill with me. 
we're going to sleep downstairs on a sofa or whatever. I don't know. Right. Then we're getting an Uber to the Eurostar at 6 a.m. in the morning. And and we're getting the train to, to, oh to Rotterdam. We're going to get there at 9 a.m. in the morning. I can't mm. check into... Uh, we can't check into our hotel until 3 p.m. <laughs> You're going to be so... <laughs> well, I did a I did a round trip for, for Twitch Comparis. And I missed out on quite a lot because of it. Uh, we got the train at... Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Sorry, go on. No, I, I get that you did that then. You want to make sure that you get the whole gist of it, including like the after... Uh, math where you just go and, and get some dinner that kind of so you don't want to just run around and then have to go immediately yeah because what, what i did was i got the i got the Eurostar at 6 a.m in the morning that same day got to paris went to paris i met with potato pie 25 it was great spent the entire day with him went back and got food and i think i got the oh. Eurostar like 8 p.m at night but this time around we're going i'm going we're going on a friday and then nice and early which is horrible probably go sit in a cafe or something have breakfast whatever <laughs> it is then do, yeah. do do hopefully try and get my ticket that day because we're like we're, we're like i think it's like a 30 minute train ride from the from the convention but if you're able to go and get your ticket, I'm probably just going to walk there. It'll be nice to go and just walk around. I'm not going to be on my own. And who knows? We might meet people. I'm staying in the city, so hopefully. Then the convention is on the 29th to 30th. And then on the 1st, we're staying an extra day. So the 1st, we're going to go around, spend time in Rotterdam, have a little bit of fun, like look at certain attractions. If you've got any suggestions, please let me know. Not even just you, just your listener, anyone. And then I go home on the 2nd. I think the Eurostar is in the afternoon because I was like, no, we're not getting another 6 a.m. Eurostar. Not while we're in a different country. <laughs> let me sleep in, please. So, but I'm really no, looking I, forward to it. Yeah, please do watch your health man because that sounds like you're gonna be well to be fair though you you have a horrible sleeping schedule as is so but it's still please do take care of yourself make sure that you get enough uh you know food and drinks and take some rest when you need i mean yeah i'll be fine i appreciate it but i i ball i bo i i i do so much better on five hours sleep than i do on like eight hours sleep that's such a beautiful quote thank you but i'll bowl <laughs> that, that is just that's that's wonderful i will i'll bowl like, you know <laughs> Uh, are you are you gonna go to the America one, Dragon? No, definitely not. No, I'm terrified of that entire place. I America has always been a bit of a you know with all with all of the things going on over there. I'm I'm very happy with my Europe people with my Europe events. <laughs> Europe plus, people. <laughs> and and on top of that, it, it costs so much money, man. Like I have you, it's it's mental. No, definitely not. I love to see it from the sidelines. I wish them all the happiness and luck, but I I'll just stick with the Europe. I have a hotel reserved for San Diego. Yeah, I heard. Uh, oh, of course, yeah, you're listening to the bloody podcast. So I'm an avid fan, yeah. You are actually, it's crazy. It's still crazy to me, man. It's, I, I, it's so cool. I don't know. I find it so cool. And that's why, like, I, I'm trying my best this podcast. Is it? Is this up to standard of the other podcasts, Aragon? Am I doing a good job? Do you see? I'm having a delightful time. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, uh, I, I guess part of the reason why you probably won't go to San Diego as well is because you're actually studying and you also work a full-time job and you, and you stream and you're getting back into YouTube content. You're really busy. I think you downplay it too much. You're a very busy guy. <laughs> I, 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 am I busy? Yeah, but I, I, I guess it's just, it's life in it. Where, um, Obviously, without saying too much here, because once again, the Netherlands is a small mm -hmm. country. So just say as much as you can. Firstly, but actually not firstly, this doesn't apply to what I'm about to ask. It applies to the second thing I'm going to ask, but we'll get into that. Firstly, what is it that you're studying? It's within the, the, the how do I say this? What I'm studying, it is within like the, the entertainment slash creative work field. And I'm basically learning just how that work field works and, and how you can utilize it to your best of knowledge. Just saying it as cryptic as I can. Uh, but yeah, it's, I also study in Rotterdam. So that's why I know the, the city pretty well. Uh, it's really fun so you could almost say you're practicing what you preach wow that's 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 a bar right there because you are uh, i mean yeah you're, 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 you're literally a content creator and that's what you're studying like you would have thought <laughs> well i wish i was doing a, a study that is like being a content creator we actually have that in the netherlands but it costs a lot of money All right. um, but yeah I'm, I'm in my last year now i'm writing my thesis so i'm just like in excruciatingly a lot of like mental pain the entire time which i think a lot of people who are writing a thesis can relate to it's it's, it's so much work man it, like whenever you're not doing it you're just thinking oh god i should be doing this right now i'm so i'm gonna be so glad i'll be done in about four or five months hopefully and i'll be free i'll have my degree and i can either pursue content creation full time or or do something within the content creation space because it is the thing i love doing most and i whatever way i can do it i will do it man it's the love of my life i've always been a bit conflicted on the idea of studying content creation because i guess a weird take all right and it's kind of on the spot take here well not really because i've just said I, um, i've always been weird point is right i don't know i like I, everything i've done right in regards to marketing and stuff has either been a little bit of advice from ajx because 
because that's his field or everything is like self-taught right every single change every single invite every single way i message people to invite them mm -hmm. every single thing i have self-taught right i haven't read a book on how to do it i haven't read a book on how to please people i've taught myself it so the idea of like studying content creation i don't know like i i i think learning it yourself is just so much better yeah it helped you but then you're also learning the same thing everyone else has learned right and as much as that's cool and as much as it may help eventually it becomes an idea of like the mr beastification of youtube if everyone's learning the same thing or like looking at the same thing and trying to do the same thing eventually it's not it's not really a, a valuable method of growing because everybody is doing the growth well yeah does that make sense it's a weird I, take. I, I, yeah no i fully get what you mean i for, i want to make clear i don't study content creation no or something i'm saying like that. Not i know i know i'm saying yeah. sorry in a sense of i because you said oh you can study a bit costs a lot that's yeah, what i definitely. mean like, yeah i was just throwing that so, idea sorry I, I still think that there it, it's not a bad thing because like it's always good to learn the basic knowledge of a thing and whether you learn that yourself or you learn that through school that's completely fine it's cooler yeah. that you can brag that you didn't go to school to learn it but you know there's still a lot of really famous actors that are doing really well because they also went to to uh, acting school first or filmmakers went to filmmaking school it's okay but it's not necessary that is uh, something very important to know like you can still learn those things by yourself just go out there and do them and it's very important you know the one doesn't exclude the other um but you definitely don't need it to be a content creator uh, a lot of it is just trial and error and just learning as you go along definitely well, i have said this if in 2025 the podcast is i'm happy with the podcast i'm very proud of it but if i'm not in like a place of i guess full-time podcast um, um i'm planning to drop my job down to part-time and i'm going to go back to uh, college and study uh, marketing because i have really really enjoyed the idea of reaching out to people really really enjoyed the idea of like getting people on the podcast it's like building a portfolio of yeah i'm inviting you my invite is good enough and the backing is good enough to bring you on for you to say yes mm -hmm. uh, so and i've really enjoyed that so i think i, I want to go study marketing if like the podcast isn't full-time kind of thing that way then i have two things and it kind of goes against my point of like the whole not wanting to study something but it's it's good to learn still nonetheless you know it's great to have knowledge and, and knowledge is power uh, and and there's nothing wrong with that man definitely but d never give up on your dreams like if you want the podcast to be the biggest podcast in the world you can do it like just keep working at it keep innovating and keep doing what you love and you'll get there no matter how long it takes if that's uh, not within a year or two that's fine there's some streamers that blew up within three weeks of streaming i mean i'm not sure i i might be like yapping right now but i believe rambu grew an insane amount within his like three weeks it already was like partner status in like a month or two and there's other streamers that blew up ever after like seven or eight years so like if you're like an aspiring content creator and you're like oh but i've been streaming for like a year and i still haven't got it keep keep at it try to improve try to do the things that you love and and see how you can make the best content out there and eventually you'll get there even if it takes you 15 years if you think that's worth your time do it man why not i uh i agree i agree so so much i just uh yeah i don't know i think the podcast is gonna be great i mean i said this and it's on the Kaman podcast that comes out in two days from this one so Ooh, if you're listening okay. to this listen to that one as well afterwards obviously if you're listening to this one at a day hell yeah right, i said like the thing is i used to do command block tutorials and i was earning 500 pounds give or take as an as a 19 year old kid and uh, like 18 year old kid Ooh. or 17 year old kid sorry one or two one of the two 18 or 17 and to me that's like whoa like i'm on so much money and then i started work at 18 and i was still earning loads of money i was like yo i'm living a life but i gave up the money for the connections like and it's not a case of like oh look at me i get to talk to all these really I, I'm, I'm in contact with all these really large creators no 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 it's the guests i've had on the podcast and it's conversations like this that i've really valued because they helped me grow so so much and uh i gave up earning loads of money for the chance to connect with people because i wanted an audience because i wanted people to like i mean i replied to simon hypixel's tweet i'm not sure if you saw that i'm not sure if you I saw that tweet that. i replied to that tweet shooting my shot so be it they haven't replied yet completely fine but that tweet that tweet has 146 likes that's that's mental there are 146 people out there that have, have listened to the podcast and what the podcast is and trust me enough to boost that tweet and ask the right questions and to, sorry i know i'm talking a lot, a lot about myself here my bad i didn't mean to but for me that's just amazing i think that's so cool that i have that backing you know it's incredible man I'm, I'm, I'm really really happy for you honestly what about work uh you work pretty far you had to you had to leave work early yesterday which <laughs> once again i'm sorry <laughs> hey it's all good yeah so like i call it work but it's actually my internship i i've i've interned there before it's a really cool company that's uh, keep it vague it's about gaming entertainment so i get to do what i love but like for for them and it's it's been a wonderful learning experience i've learned so incredibly much from them and i have such a great time uh there and um yeah it's wonderful it's it's a lot of time but it's worth it a hundred percent uh can you is that is that all you can say if 
about like pushing too far I, I don't know what you want to know um hmm what is uh what's okay you know what here's a good question if you can answer it what's one of your favorite moments so far because you said it's great and you said you really enjoy it so what is one of your favorite moments uh from from my work from my uh yeah like from, from, my from your internship like so like a memorable right. moment that you can you can talk about uh well so they've asked me a couple times to uh be a quiz master on their uh for a game show that we were doing which was really really fun it was about like uh certain game events so like summer game fest gamescom that kind of stuff and i got to go all out with like a shiny jacket and, and present and it was it was awesome it was very very fun to do oh that's so sick did yeah you, it's, uh, it's dope I, do you, uh that was um that's the only time you was that, that was on tv right uh on twitch actually i was on twitch have you ever been on tv aragon telly i know it's in the name and it's still something i really want to do but i i haven't really been on tv so far i i one day i will be maybe with my minecraft series is that a possibility i don't know we'll see it would be cool it would be really awesome you know with all the the the, the stories that i try to create maybe one of them one day will you know, pop up get you on tv Aragon. thank you orbits <laughs> speaking of stories and stuff you know look at me i'm i'm cooking i'm good we're cooking transitions oh my god you're cooking something nice <laughs> uh your content creation we haven't really talked about that we've talked about like work and stuff like that but we haven't talked about how you got into content so where did it all begin how did you get into content creation how did you get into this community basically all, all the end of it all how did you end up on this podcast today <laughs> well when i was a young wee little lot no when i was uh let's see ever since i was young i've always had such a love for content creation like i remember having like my what did they call it back in the day it wasn't an ipod but it was like an mp4 i want to say something like that i don't know it was like a, a little i don't know what they call it but it was just a device that you could also record with and i i started flogging myself and pretending i was my favorite youtubers growing up and then when i grew older i started a gaming channel i had like 20 gaming channels that were all in dutch though you can't really find them but they're still out there where i just i don't know i just kept making videos and i i loved it and then around the age of 14 or 15 i want to say i sort of lost that interest in in the consecration space and i actually left the gaming and consecration space for quite a long while i i uh did a lot of theater in that time i learned a lot on that it was really fun but then around the time of covid i got really really bored right and the first thing i actually did was okay i'm really bored i'm stuck at home i have nothing to do i i've watched more netflix than i i can ever justify i need to get a playstation i've always wanted a playstation i've saved so many let me do that what's so the first one you got what's the first one what huh playstation what's the first playstation playstation 4 uh, oh so, so i went I, yeah I'm, I'm quite late so i went to um the the shop i bought a playstation some games because i was like all right this is an investment for life i'll be playing this all the time so i go home i install it i play for like a good two weeks and i'm, I'm really invested in red dead redemption and rocket league and that kind of stuff and then a hype starts and i see it on youtube and it's among us right <laughs> and i'm like ah oh, i want to i want to play that and then at that time it wasn't on, on playstation so i boot up my old laptop play a couple of games of among us and i love it and orbits after that i've never touched my playstation ever again it's been the the worst <laughs> buy i've ever done in my entire life it was such a waste of money but either way uh i started playing among us and then at one point i was like oh i i kind of need a creative outlet i can't do theater and stuff and i was like i'm playing these games on my laptop what can i do with that so i find the twitch website and i'd never been on it before like i have no idea how this, that stuff works i i didn't know about the culture the language the emotes i had to learn it all from scratch i didn't know anyone in the game i didn't know anyone online for that matter uh so i started streaming and i uh, really quickly realized that i could like i said before offer this community it's all about love respect and acceptance and, and give and try to give something to people that never had that and on top of that i have a creative outlet where i can create these stories i've always loved creating stories and, and writing them and acting and i was like what if i interpret that in minecraft in the thing that i loved and so after like three months i started my my first big project was was called nations which actually boosted my channel in insanely i i got affiliate within like two three weeks of streaming starting streaming but then when i launched the project that's when i really got like my core community and stuff and it was amazing and i i realized that what i love doing most on this platform is just writing stories and acting and whether that be with community members and creating these cool events or if that's with creators and creating these really really interesting narratives i i just love stories orbits so i try to do whatever whatever i do i try to interpret a story yeah. a narrative what's the, what's your story today what's my story today yeah what's your what's your narrative for the podcast <laughs> this, 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 i'm assuming this probably doesn't count though right you're probably referring to like smps and streams and stuff this is probably a little bit harder to have like a whole story and narrative for yeah yeah no i, I mean <laughs> truly in like my own content in my own story narrative content but like even for like simple things like i'm doing the the minecraft but it's weird and i try to beat it right series where i do like the the variety of things like even with that the whole story is me being in this really weird area trying to beat the game you know that's still a narrative to follow and that's what what people find interesting 
interesting and I, I, I find interesting. So I always try to do something with that. What's your, obviously, have you have you ever ran an SMP Aragon? I know this is a really silly question to ask because I probably should know that. Have you ever ran your own SMP? Uh, yeah, actually, I've, I've, so. Oh, wait, you have, but you have. Yes. I know, I've, I know I've the multiple. answer to this. Okay, there's one that I know is Vault SMP. Uh, true, yeah, that's actually one. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's true. Oh, what's the one you thought of? So I, I've, it's, it's, the question is, do you see it as an, it's like a large Minecraft server that I own and uh, did as a project, right? So I started with Nations, which I would love to talk about if I can in a bit. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and then uh, I've also done two Air SMPs, which were SMPs that were like lore and story focused, but with my community, which was really interesting to do. Uh, some really cool stories came from that. And then, of course, Vault SMP. I got Fireside SMP. And I think that is it. I've never really been interested in like hosting an SMP. I've been interested in like having a platform to tell these stories and act with these people. That's That's been more the underlying idea of creating these servers. Uh, what's, what's that first SMP you said? Uh, Nations, right? Nations, right? Yeah. Nations so, yeah, is my first what, big project. You, what, do you, what do you want to talk about with that thing? Go ahead, please. Yeah. So like Nations has always been my baby, my my pride. So when I grew up, I was watching this uh, Dutch Minecraft uh, series that I, I really loved and, and it always had a special place in my heart because I grew up with it, right? Like everyone has that one series they watched as a kid that they absolutely loved. And for me, that was that. And I always wanted to do something with it and, and pull it into like the modern time of Minecraft and, and give it my own you know twist to it. And that's where Nations was created from. I Have you heard of Game of Thrones orbits? I have watched every single episode right? of Game of Thrones. I uh, I forced myself to watch the first two seasons and uh, in secondary school, I remember I pissed off a lot of people because I said I didn't like the first season. <gasps> I did it. I did it on purpose. I did like the first season. I just, I, I just, I was, a, I was, a, I'm very sarcastic, right? But sometimes my sarcasm can be taken very seriously. So when I <laughs> turned around and I went to school and it's like, oh, how do you think the first season was? And I turned around and went, it was really shit. Uh, a lot of people were very not happy with Vincent Orbit's <laughs> good. Uh, but no, yeah, Game of Thrones was great. I will, I will be honest. I don't think it's shit. I wasn't a massive fan of it. I think I thought it was just a case of like, you have to, get, I think Games of Thrones is very much, you have to get for a few through the first season to really enjoy it. But then it mm. fell off in the later seasons because they just, it seemed like they gave up on it. But yeah, I have watched Game of Thrones to answer, answer your question. Cool, yeah, though. no. So basically what Nations was, was just like, it was taking huge inspiration from Game of Thrones in a way of, it was a large medieval role play, right? So, so what cool. I did is I invited uh, four or five other creators, including Wade Box. That's actually how we got a lot more close and started working together. Like he's, he's one of my closest friends, man. He's amazing. Anyway, so I invited creators and then I asked him like, hey, bring in like a group of your friends, like 10 or 20 of your uh, close friends, community members, people that you want to create a country with. Then we all created our own countries and it's basically like these min uh, mini SMPs all over in one Minecraft server. And then we role played that around that with like a, a huge overarching narrative, but then also tradings, wars, uh, a lot of politics and stuff. And you would create these beautiful cities and, and castles and in these, oh, the, the, the role play and the story were amazing, man. And I'm still so proud of that. And uh, yeah, that, that was Nations. And I've we've done it again, I believe this point one or two years ago with some other really cool creators, including Dijon, for example, who's also absolutely amazing. But it's, I don't know, I still think that I, I still want to do Nations again one day because I still think it's really, really cool to create these really large, innovative uh, role play worlds where people can create characters and, and have these, I don't know, these stories. I, I love stories orbits. I don't know if you've <laughs> you've clocked that yet, but I don't know. Nah, that's Nation. I mean, you don't seem like that big a fan. Yeah, so. no, it's overrated anyway. Uh, on stream, you've been doing a lot of like, you know, um, story maps as well. Yes, story yes. Maps. Minecraft maps. Uh, that's, that's something Minecraft I've been getting maps, into. Yeah, I, it's, it's something I've been getting into recently. I've loved them when I was younger. Uh, and the things that I've seen orbits, they're absolutely mental. Like people are pushing the boundaries of Minecraft. And now Minecraft has been on a little bit of a, a it's, it's not been as popular, has it? Like it's, it's been a bit, a bit of a dip. But I feel like recently people have been pushing the boundaries of the game again and creating these whole new experience. Like look at uh, Black Cat Productions. I don't know if you've heard of them. I've They're creating the name. these. I think we talked about this, but I, I, like off oh, camera actually. Back. Yeah, uh, they they create these incredible huge role play worlds where they they use the, the newest and the latest Minecraft mechanics to make such an immersive world filled with like cinematics, videos, audio things. It's it's really cool. But to get back to maps, uh, for example, I played a series called the Katacha uh, Laboratories. Now, please, if you haven't played that already, go play that. It's one of the most insane, interesting, hard, and and just fantastic map that you'll ever play. There's three parts. The third one absolutely blows out of the, uh, out of the water. Captain Sparkles and called it like his favorite map ever. It's made by uh, Stockley and the rest of Team Silica. It's amazing. But what I'm trying to say with this is Minecraft maps are very underappreciated orbit. So I'm making it my mission this year <laughs> to shine a light on them. That's what I want to do. I want to I want to show right the creators of these maps what what is possible within the game and how much you can enjoy it. When uh when can I join you on stream? Mm -hmm. When's my invite? I brought you on my podcast. Can you now bring me?
me onto one of your story game thing, map things. Orbits, we're gonna we're gonna make sure that happens sometime, alright? Please. Well, I'd be honored to, to get to be on a Minecraft. I mean, I was on one shot. That was that was really cool. I enjoyed that. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Those innovative things. And it, it can be very simple, like one shot, where it's just a crossbow. If someone gets killed, the crossbows go away, and then the crossbow comes back. That's it. That's basically just the entire gist of one shot. And still, it's so interesting to watch and play in. It's it's awesome, dude. The booty boys live on. The booty boys live on. The big Mario booty boys. Oh, uh, there was like this. Okay, just for context, because people are <laughs> going to be so weirded out otherwise. There was this huge statue of Mario, and it had these beautiful two rounded butt cheeks that <laughs> we uh, called our our base where we stayed under. So we called ourselves the booty boys, the Mario booty boys. It was me, you, Rampage, and Snom. It was wonderful. And the best part is me, Rampage, and Snom were on the same team, but we just bumped into him and was like, you know what? Join us. <laughs> Sorry. I got adopted and I appreciate that. Thank you. I, I would always adopt you, even though you're older than me. But that's not the point. Not the po It'd work. Uh, it would work somehow. Exactly. Uh, what happened with Fireside SMP? Because, like, so I guess the, 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 the reason I'm specifically asking this, and it's because Lagundo was in it. And yes. when you guys all posted the, that campfire image, I brought Lagundo on the podcast and I said, all right, can you tell me where it is? And because, uh, because the podcast was coming out after the announcement, I got to know early where it was and I felt very special that I knew where it was invited. And Hell yeah. Probably best I wasn't invited. I don't really stream nor do I have time to be playing SMPs. I said this on a prior podcast, would absolutely love to. I just, I would never join one just out of the sake of, I wouldn't want to waste anyone's time. Uh, yeah, what's, what's the deal with that? Is that ever returning? And you, do you know anything about that? So, Fireside stems from the idea of Weightbox, Nominal Gravy, and I uh, wanting to have a server where we can just play normal Minecraft survival, uh, use it if we want to make a video or we just want to chill, have a chill stream. But it's just like a, a little extra server that we can have. So, we can just, I don't know, have an easy way to make content. And we invited like a bunch of our friends or people that we thought could add a really cool uh, addition to the server and we played on it for quite a while and we had a, a lot of fun um, but because it was like it was a really nice way to make easy or like an easy access to make content but we all got sucked into different projects into role play things into events that kind of stuff we didn't really have a need anymore for the server so it sort of slowly just uh, died down a little bit and at this point we're not sure what the future will be of the server um, but what we do know is that the spirit of Fireside is still there the people in Fireside were absolutely amazing and if we ever want to bring it back we'll bring it back but it's just a casual laid back server that we can use if we want to but it's never meant to be this huge pop off dream SMP like server uh god no <laughs> with all the people that were in dream SMP that are now like you know facing certain things we just wanted to have like a chill laid back server and that's what it was and we had a great time but for now no plan yes yeah, sir. No, so I was just curious about that one typically I mean you, you obviously do a great job with SMPs I think uh without saying too much here you are cooking some you are cooking a little some some <laughs> yeah look like like I said before, there are such big holes in the Minecraft space that haven't been filled up yet when it comes to innovation or like storytelling or experiences. And uh, I've got a couple of projects running right now and hopefully I'll be able to release them later this year uh, where we're trying to utilize that and create new cool experiences for people. So that's all I'll say right now because I don't want to make false promises or anything, but we, we're cooking, cooking hard. We're going to do a the bear show. We're going to cook so hard. We're going to have the best burgers. We're going to have the best Minecraft experience. It's going to be amazing. All of like the SMPs and stuff are done on stream. Lincoln us back into Twitch here. Oh yes. my god, what if you just talked about Twitch kind of get <laughs> no, no. Uh, You have done a few subathons in your time, Aragon. I have, yeah. They have a special place in the community, definitely. It's uh, a staple of the era community. How many is it that you've done? I've done three now. I do one every year, like a yearly thing I do. And I always try to push the boundaries a little bit more, try to find a new twist to do. Uh, so the first one was three days, the second one was seven days, and the other one was, uh, was meant to be ten, but we pushed it back to fourteen days. Uh, we've gone full time on all of them, which is absolutely mental, and I still don't know how that happened uh, but yeah they're they're absolutely incredible man they're one of the hardest things to ever done have you done anything like a subathon or like a 24-hour stream or something like that i have i've done uh i've done free 24-hour streams and uh they are they're very very tough you've also done they're one but tough. we'll talk about that after yeah uh i did one back on bedrock edition where i streamed the hive for 24 hours straight literally just one server which is fine i did a good job and then uh my most recent oh, two yeah. i did on java edition so one was on mcc island and then one was on all of java uh, the first one i i stopped like two three hours before the end because I was getting stream sniped and harassed by two people which wasn't really really no. fun and then I also just got really unwell at the same time so I was like you know what this isn't worth yeah, it sadly and then the third one was for charity um it was definitely for charity it was for because my dad was doing the London Brighton psych so and then I got uh, a little bit I got unwell again and also something just happened see my as you know as much as I'm always on 100% and always grinding because my brain is always working it's also a little bit easier for me to get affected by certain things mm. uh, so that someone, someone came into my chat and said something which is like, oh, and it was also 4 a.m. in the morning. I'd just thrown up maybe two hours beforehand, which no one knew about. No one knew about until today. If you listen to this podcast, uh, but 
I, I saw it through. So I was like, you know, we ball. And uh, in the end, I was like, yeah, it's, I can't. <laughs> so I, so I, ended, I ended through him, sadly. So I've done one, but the other two were. I don't know, streaming, I love streaming. Don't get me wrong. And it is really, really fun and really, really super cool. But just just for certain like reasons, I uh, I don't know. Just, I'm not feeling it lately. I'm just not in the mental for streaming right now. But that's because I, I guess it's also because I'm just so preoccupied with work and podcasts. And I just don't have the motivation to. But commentary on the podcast channel, we ball. But yeah, sorry. Back to you. Oh, yeah. No, no, that, that's completely fine. And, and you got to do what makes you happy. Don't force yourself to stream if that's not where your heart lies. There's so many ways that you can do what you want to do. And it's not per se through Twitch. So yeah, big up for you, you know, knowing what you want. Great. With like the cell phones and stuff like that, do you plan to do another one this year? Definitely. Yeah, no. Um. So we've done one every year and I've always pushed uh, the limit a little bit more. Now, last time it was two weeks and I'm not sure if I want to go longer than two weeks. I don't have the funds to get like an IRL camera because I'm not going to be inside for, for like three weeks or something. That's just too much. Like two weeks was more than enough. I still <laughs> got some fresh air, but it's getting too much. So I've had an idea for many years at this point, which is I'm still checking it with people to make sure that it's actually ethical. And don't worry, there's not people getting harmed or anything. It's just, I just want to make sure that I cover my base. Uh, I'm going to do something no one's ever done on Twitch before. It should be interesting. It will hopefully be this summer. Uh, but yeah, no, there's definitely another subathon coming. Should Can be I be in it, please? Orbits? <laughs> sure, buddy. Please, please, please. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, you've also done a 24-hour uh, stream for charity. Uh, you did this at the end of 2023 and you always raised a whooping and get ready to play the clapping soundboard here. $1,075. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Uh, <laughs> for, the, uh, for the Alzheimer's Foundation. I no, did. No, yeah. No, no it's still <laughs> one of the coolest and most amazing things that I've done, uh, which I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Like, How did you for... uh, How did you cope with it? Actually, I won't cut you off here. Sorry. Carry on, please. My bad. Oh, no. For me, like that's a lot of money, uh, especially in 24 hours. So I'm really, really proud of my community for doing that. It's amazing. I mean, to put it bluntly, like that's, uh, that's for me, like three weeks of paycheck, give or take. Maybe a bit less. That's like a lot. Like you, okay, That's I guess if you're if you're if you're somehow earning one hundred pounds a day, which is uh, if you're earning that while doing customer service, fair play. <laughs> if you're earning one hundred pounds a day, that's that's ten shifts in a month. That's a lot. It's a yeah, lot. But of money. let me tell you, let me tell you, orbits. Like doing that twenty four hour stream was like I think the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I'm I'm telling you, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'm so proud of what my community has done. But it was absolute hell, dude. I don't like. I've done two weeks worth of subathon. I've I've had had some sleepless nights streaming for 24 hours in a row without sleeping i uh, there's whole like compilations that i made afterwards with my editor of me just falling asleep during the nightly hours and like pushing my my forehead against the the microphone and being like i don't know and just having like i don't know it was so weird and i've always had this like nightmare of like falling asleep on stream and it happened and it was it's so hard to stay awake i don't know how people do it <laughs> did you uh do you fall asleep at any point or no i, I had like split seconds of falling asleep right like just you know uh, put my head down and then just wake up and be like oh no oh, how long have i been out you know that those kinds of moments don't you have like a story or something of like your mom throwing a shoe at your head all oh, right you know that was for our stream though was it that was during my first subathon uh something happened to think the audio or something so uh actually i was deep asleep at this point right and there was people like in chat and suddenly the audio stopped or something like that so one of the people who viewed is actually someone i know in real life and they had the phone number of my mom and my mom incredible person like my community loves her she, they've never seen her she doesn't want to be on camera but she 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 has come and clutch into you know multiple moments including this one where she'd like uh, slowly walk up the stairs open the door a little bit and like whisper at me but it didn't work so she like <laughs> took a shoe and she threw it at my head so i wake up and she was like your audio is cut out or something and i was like oh what oh, oh thank you uh, so yeah my mom's incredible people love her uh she's one of the best moms out there she's really supportive of what i do with content so uh and big ups to her Definitely. Why were they awake? Your your friend and your mom, but you weren't, huh? King, I was doing a subathon. I needed some rest. So you rest during the nighttime when you're meant to be rest. It, it was in the early mornings, all right? I, I I forget that no one has my sleep schedule like five hours a day. I don't know how you do it. I do not know how you do it. I mean, I've always been a bit scared to do a subathon, and the idea of going to sleep and not being able to see my chat just worries me. Like, I know obviously you have mods and stuff like that, but yeah, I got moderators. I never really like, had we... mods, like, and I and I don't know. I is that, back to the whole warranting thing. I've never never been able to warrant doing a subathon never ever and like obviously i mean money yeah great please give me all your money <laughs> Sorry. uh but i have uh I've, I've never been able to like warrant the idea of like in the case of i just don't think it'd go like crazy well for me and i'm that's not me being oh like you know negative or thinking the worst it's literally me straight up being well, realistic i'm very real huh? every time i've done one i've thought i'm gonna go for three hours and that's it and every time we've gone to the max time so don't be don't be too sure of that and on top of that like with my moderators i always make sure that we have like a really strict schedule for my moderators 
and a, a system in place so that we make sure that all of the moderators at least rest enough and make sure that you know they're not like over extending their uh their modding periods and on top of that we also have a schedule so we make sure that there's at least one person in chat during all time so we you know there's no trolls that come in or like very very bad people including the 24 hour stream when i was almost falling asleep like that <laughs> uh still a special place in my heart but it was definitely worth raising the money especially you know with the uh the underlying thought i guess yeah i don't know i think some of the funds are great they just i don't know i guess in my head i'm just like oh no but i once again it's just different faults right so like, i still love streaming i'm just not in the mood right now that's fair what was the kind of back to the back to the 24 hour stream here what was what was the motivation behind doing for the alzheimer's specifically i was for the alzheimer's foundation not for the alzheimer's so it's a bit more of a like a personal story i guess uh so i i sort of did it for my grandfather he was always like my best friend growing up he was like my buddy we always did stuff together and you know he, he had a very special place in my heart and then he would always tell me when i was growing up he would say like buddy i'm gonna grow to a hundred years old and still be as healthy as i am today and i was like hell yeah grandpa and i was awesome and he's now in his 80s he's, he's still alive don't worry um but about two years ago he collapsed and he had to go into surgery and then when he came out of surgery he was very confused and from that moment on he suffered from severe dementia and he didn't really know who i was anymore so uh for the last few years i've had to come to terms with that from him being a healthy man one second to not even recognizing me anymore the, the next one uh, and he's being taken care of very well he's in uh good hands but i really wanted to do something for people like him or at least towards uh, alzheimer's research uh or towards the care of people with dementia or alzheimer's so that's sort of when i realized i wanted to do a 24 hour stream and do something for that and orbits when i tell you the amount of people coming in sharing their story like almost everyone that came into stream had their own story or their own personal experience with dementia or alzheimer's like everybody knew something or a family member it was crazy i had no idea it was such a huge problem or such a huge uh, topic and it was incredible seeing everyone from the community and beyond just come in and donate and help out and and share their stories and it was such a beautiful bonding experience and and i don't know i'm still so incredibly proud of what this entire community managed to do it's it, it holds a very special place in my heart i almost get emotional talking about it but it's it's something very very special i'm sorry that 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 you had to that had to happen no, it's 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 okay. It's part of life, but you know, I'm 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 just glad that we got to raise some money uh, to help people with that problem, or uh, to make sure that it, maybe one day we don't have that problem anymore. You know, I I mean, I won't I won't go into too much on on my one because uh, I guess there's nothing really to fully say yet. Uh, but health issues one in my family, not Alzheimer's, fortunate enough, but just other stuff. And I guess one day I'll be more public. I'm just a very private guy, believe it or not. Uh, I know I run a podcast. I know a lot of talk <laughs> a lot about myself, but I very I very much limit why I talk about myself. That's that's funny thing. Uh, so. Yeah, we're, we're all hoping for a better world, all hoping for a better future. And hopefully, Amen. you know, charities can get to a point where we raise enough money to solve certain things, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Try and reword that. I'm happy no, with that. No, it's not fully what I want to say, but I don't want to reword it in the wrong way. So. Said that right. It was beautiful. Uh, but yeah, no, no, fair enough, Aragon. That was really good. I uh, don't really want to end on a sad note here, but I feel like we've covered everything. Unless there's anything in specific that I wanted to talk about this podcast that we didn't bring up, or if we've done a pretty good uh, job here. I think so, probably. Yeah, I, I that's a good sign no definitely 100 percent. yeah <laughs> okay then uh we do have some twitter questions here though that i want to ask so be prepared aragon for some amazing twitter questions. oh god all right so the first one comes from wade box oh god why must you always break my heart in every project we work on because it shows i've got passion for you wade it, it shows that we have a beautiful meaningful relationship i hope you can one day understand that and, and then a genuine question oh okay <laughs> what has been some of your greatest inspirations for making a narrative content you started on making on your channel og nations and obviously once again i know we talked about nations but kind of yeah i, I mean for the sake of possibly making a podcast clip here hint hint jokana and mentioning you again make a clip your name has been said go ahead you know you want to please aragon go ahead <laughs> jokana well like I've said before, uh, I've never really been good at Minecraft. Like, I'm not a re really good pvp -er or a parkour player or, you know, that kind of stuff. But what I have realized is that Minecraft is such a beautiful sandbox with endless possibilities. And now... I love writing, I love acting, so why not combine that with a game where that's possible to do in and, and to create these kinds of projects? So I love to surround myself with wonderful, amazing, creative people, create these stories and then act them out and have the best time ever and then also manage to make content off of it. Like, how cool is that? 
Oh, these are going to be really wholesome. Right here, more, more wholesomeness. Uh, this one's from Sushi, Sushi Wushi. Oh, that's the dye, is it? Sushi Boshi. Sushi Wushi. Oh, yeah, Sushi Wushi. Uh, once again, kind of also all the topic we've already covered, but uh, I feel like it was a bit messy when we covered it. So we're going to, we're going to do it cleaner here. Uh, what are some of your favorite projects you've done? I've, I've, I'm assuming Nations is definitely up there. <laughs> Nations, definitely. Then, uh, also RSMP was a really cool one where I played a detective trying to take down an evil corporation that was controlled the entire town which is pretty cool. Oh, cool um of course like all of the events that i've been in lately uh they have been amazing like i i've never really gotten into the event space uh, so i've only done like three events ever now but it's been an absolute amazing experience the people are so lovely and accepting and welcoming and i don't know the fu the games are so fun they're really really fun and uh of course being on the inside mc podcast oh. wait that's it as well we, we didn't talk about events that's what that's what we didn't bring up okay right you know what it's fine podcast this is why we have time Sam's now. Let's go. Let's talk about events at Aragon before we see the podcast. <laughs> All right. Yet. Hell yeah. Uh, so as you mentioned, you've only been in three. Uh, you've been in on obviously other events, but I like to kind of round, uh, you know, we have MCC, Block Wars, Pandora's Box, Mayhem, and Mania, right? I see yeah. those as the big five, right? Sorry, other tournaments. I'm not saying you're not up there. It's like the Premier League, right? I think every team in the Premier League are really, really cool, but you have your big sit, right? That's, that's, the, I'm in football terms, that's how I'm calling it. I think every single tournament of the majority of the tournaments are good in their own way. In regards to those tournaments, you've only played Mania once and now when this podcast comes out you would have played mayhem for the second time uh, so um, it really shocks me that you haven't been in a tournament scene much because a lot of people kind of turn around and go to me oh oh but you're a tournament player and i'm like no i'm not and they're like yeah you are like you're a tournament player i'm like what tournaments do you see me in i've benched myself from every single mayhem i get benched from mania but just fine they're a big big things so i'm not trying to say oh my god I can't. no that's completely warranted i don't play in block wars origins i don't play in block wars i don't play in pandora's box i don't play in fruit wars i don't play in crown quest <laughs> and and i played one tomorrow tournaments because no where does where's the all its tournament art come from i don't know but yeah what about you i'm i'm shocked i'm shocked you haven't been in more tournaments or in the tournament scene for that long well i've i don't know i've i've always just so i've i've never really been in the minecraft community like i've played the game but i never really interacted with any other creators or any other projects I always just did my own stuff my own thing only for the last year i've really started to get to know people in the minecraft space and like talk to them and 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 laid those connections and had a really wonderful time and building friendship and i've always just been so invested in in story related content and role place and creating projects and stuff and and they are so interesting to me that i never realized that these events are so much fun dude like the, the mini games are so fun to play because they're not the things that you can find on mcc island or or you know any other of those kinds of servers like they're very special unique games that you can only really play if you're in those events and oh they're so fun so yeah no i never really just i don't know i've never really had the reason to or i've never been invited for that matter um but now that i have i'm i'm here to stay man like i'm loving playing in these events like i'm having a great time Three months of being a player manager and i got your boy aragon in on month two what can i say what can i <laughs> thank say? you yeah <laughs> i um there's actually so a lot of people don't know this but i was like a player manager for me oh, i was helping with player management for like a few months in regards to suggestions and like helping them reach out to people i only got the official role when stuff happened and i officially became in january um yeah i'm more of a commentator i'm commentating this mayhem i announced it there's also another announcement coming out on Saturday. that's exciting yeah who knows maybe one day you could come and commentate with me if we can come <laughs> to a tournament together if, if ajx is playing my m1 or busy and i get the opportunity to who knows you can always call me orbits or night i'd always call, i'll call you at 2 a.m and if you don't answer i'll cry does that sound i'll, I'll probably cry if you call me at 2 a.m but definitely i'll throw a shoot at your head at twitchcon <laughs> but yeah no sound like my mom that was the that was the idea there yeah that was the law you know the funny haha -ha. or uh, with that being said though aragon that sadly brings yes. the end of this week's midweek mc already wait what oh my god time went by so quickly well we've been recording for an hour and 20 minutes give or take so god damn and it's been an honor i've loved every single minute of it thank you so so much aragon uh however it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much for inviting me man no worries uh, for podcast here i always like to give the outro or you to promote yourself anything you want here within reason if you want to do a brand deal give me some of the money you know uh where can people <laughs> find you all that kind of jazz i feel like this is a big moment orbits i i'm i'm nervous for this okay <sighs> okay Ugh. let me just stretch let me just get okay Whew. well if you enjoyed hearing my voice ramble on and on about a, a variety of topics 
topics, then I have some great news for you. I, I'm on live on Twitch twice a week playing various amounts of Minecraft things. On top of that, you can find me on YouTube, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all of those socials. You know probably where to find me on uh, TV slash Aragon Telly or just Aragon Telly in general. Uh, I've got some really cool things coming up. I can't say too much about it because people will literally just uh, scream at me. But some cool things are coming, so make sure that you are involved. Make sure that you follow and make sure that you keep listening to this incredible podcast because so do I and it's an absolute honor to be on here again Orbis thank you so so much for inviting me and uh maybe maybe I'll see you guys one day again or well hear you guys no I don't hear you, you I want hear you me. to maybe come you'll back hear me on one day at one point wherever it be co-hosting wherever it be we'll see I'll f I'll always make time for you <laughs> we'll see we'll see sadly Ajax again wasn't here because I had to reschedule but Ajax thank you if you're listening to this Ooh. whatever you're doing right now and uh, Aragon I, I, I this is I very rarely give people this honor it really depends on the scenario I bet you're a listener of the podcast by now if you're happy to do it you should know how the outro goes no pressure Orbit. if you don't want to do it that's fine i'll do it i want to hear it live i don't want to say it i i don't know no if i get back i'll do it for now i want to hear you say it live okay well this brings the end of midweek mc thank you so much aragon for coming on today you've been amazing and thank you all everyone for listening thank you all for listening again <laughs> this has been midweek mc again stay safe don't eat too much bread pieces mm -hmm.